So I've got some pole beans that I didn't manage to pick in time. They got too big. So I just let them stay on the vine until they get real hard and crunchy like this. Well, that one's not too crunchy. Let's try it. There, there's a good crunchy one. Just crack them open. Pull out the beans. Uh, don't try to do them when they're too wet. You want them nice and dry before you harvest them. If you try to get them before they're nice and hard, what will happen is, is that you'll end up with wet beans, these pole beans, the green, pole green beans, and then they'll contaminate your sack. So I pulled a few off today. I've harvested a sack about that half full already this year because sometimes I forget the green beans and I got too many in the freezer anyway and I haven't canned any yet but I, I should can the ones in the freezer but this is the easiest way to harvest these just make sure they're nice and dry they're cracked then you got beans now what's the standpoint of this why would I want to do that I can just go start buy a package of beans every year really what happens if they aren't selling seeds that year? Remember Michigan? Michigan, they didn't allow you to go to get any planting supplies for a while. This was really stupid, but there was no reason for it. They didn't want you growing your own food. Now think about it this way. If you just grew a patch of green beans just to produce seeds, who do you think is going to come buy these from you? And they can't buy any seeds anymore. Are they going to pull that stuff again this year? Next spring? Well, you easily got some seeds. So guess what? You can sell seeds to your neighbors. Or you can just give them so they can grow food. Especially if there's a, a supply chain problem. Especially a food problem. Energy, food, they're all predicting that we're going to have problems. We've been seeing it in the stores. People have been talking about it. So one way you can prepare yourself is to have harvest your own seeds. I mean, if you look at this right here, this is enough to grow a big row of green beans that will feed your family throughout the summer and, and also produce enough pole beans, green beans, to put away for the year. What if the stores are out of green beans? What are you going to do then? Or they're out of some other food. What are you going to do then? What if the stores are barely, barely have anything on the shelves, and a can of green beans costs twenty bucks? Huh? What are you going to do then? So saving seeds is a good idea. And these are pole beans, so they'll climb on things. So you could grow these on the side of your house on a trellis in a very small space. Um, they don't have to have a lot of ground cover and they put out a lot of beans once they start producing you're gonna get lots of beans I think I did a bit, couple videos where I measured them and I was getting like uh, what, a pound and a half every time I went out there and picked them every every day yeah that's a lot of beans and I really didn't have a huge roll of beans it probably was equivalent to about eight feet long and I got plenty of beans so something to think about. Start saving seeds now. If you have a few green beans and you haven't been hit with the cold yet, go ahead and just start saving them. Let them, let them dry on the vine. When they dry on the vine, you can just snap them over easy. And if the seeds will just fall out, you can use the husk that should just pry out one or you can do whatever you want. But that's how easy it is. So just let the husk get really dry when the beans get oversized. Then you've got beans to plant next year instead of picking all the beans and canning all the beans and and uh, trying to use every bean on that vine because saving seeds is just as important as growing the green beans because we'll have seeds for next year especially if things get bad thanks for watching i hope you watch the next video